Hi, I'm Dr. Surinder. I'm the director of Cosmosis India. We are a cosmetic and aesthetic surgery center in the heart of Bangalore on Brigade Road. You must have often seen patients in whom the scars are really bad. So there are two types of bad scars which are most commonly seen. One is called a hypertrophic scar and one is a keloid. The keloid is basically a scar which has not stopped after reaching a certain point. So it keeps on growing. The body keeps on producing more scar tissue so that scar keeps on growing and becoming bigger. Keloids are, people have a tendency for keloids. Some people who have a keloidal tendency will form, will see that most of their scars tend to form keloids. It is more commonly seen in the people of African descent because their skin type is a little different which causes them or causes uh, their skin to cause more keloids. Second is certain areas are more prone to keloids. The front of the chest on top of the sternum. So that area is very prone for keloids. The shoulder is another area which is prone for keloids and in women most, mostly, uh, most commonly it is around the ear lobules. So when you are pricking your ears to put earrings that scar can produce a keloid. What is keloid is basically, as I mentioned before, is the scar which is being produced by the body doesn't stop after reaching a certain level and the body continues to form the scar and that is what grows up and forms the keloid. Now, surgically, there is no option to remove the keloid to cure it completely. What we do is something called an intrakeloidal excision, which means that we remove the center of the keloid, the bulk of the keloid and leave a thin rim around because if we go and remove the whole thing and we go into the normal skin then that is again going to form a bigger keloid. So we do an intracheloidal excision and most of the treatments for keloids are conservative. Conservative meaning they are injections which have to be given once a month and they are a combination of steroids and some anti-cancer drugs. So it, they prevent the cells from forming more scars and thereby they control it. Complete cure may or may not be possible, but yes, a control is definitely possible. So as soon as we find that a scar is not settling down within the healing period of six months, or it is continuing to grow, or it is still red and angry, or it continues to itch, these are all the signs that something has to be done to prevent it from becoming a keloid and becoming more. So that is when you consult a plastic surgeon or a dermatologist and you take the steroid injection so that the keloid is prevented from progressing further and you stop it right at step 1.